Today I'm going to show you why the trading strategy that you were probably taught sucks and why it doesn't work and how to start doing what actually works instead. You're going to be both shocked and fascinated when you see how to make this one change in your trading strategy that will make it start working and working consistently. So let's get started with that right now. Since I first got involved in trading, I discovered something really fascinating and amazing right from the beginning, something really critical that a lot of other people didn't catch on to. And that is that trading Forex, if done properly, is exactly the same as trading Google stocks or Amazon or Microsoft or trading oil, gold, silver, or even soybeans or wheat or even pork bellies. Although personally, as a vegetarian for 40 years now, I don't trade pork bellies. That's disgusting. But the point is, I have been both fascinated and amused by the way the normal approach that we are taught in trading is that each individual trader is supposed to make up their own trading strategy according to their personality type. Have you seen this idea yourself? How should I get started in trading? Well, just make up your own trading strategy, whatever works for you. Now, why do you think that this is completely different than anything that you would see in any other industry? Do you wonder if the source of this idea might be a Forex broker industry? Because it seems like they always have this idea, I'll just deposit some money. Well, well, how do I trade? Oh, well, doesn't matter, just whatever works for you. Because if you were talking to someone who actually wanted you to succeed in trading, they would probably advise you not to make up your own trading strategy, but instead to learn what works and practice that. Let's say you want to become an attorney and you get this advice. First thing you should do is just make up your own legal system, make up all your own laws and everything. And then you can start representing your clients legally in court. Or if you want to be a computer programmer, first thing that you're told is just make up your own programming language and make sure that you do all of your work in that language. I mean, nothing wrong with making up your own programming language, but nobody else would be able to use that. Many people tell me that they're working on developing their own trading strategy instead of doing what is known to work. And based on reading what markets actually do, why is it that only in trading are people told this kind of obviously nonsensical advice, which would almost certainly lead to total failure. And in no other industry do people believe that. In every other industry, People believe that even if you plan to create, for instance, your own architectural designs, first you would learn how to do architecture and learn what has worked in architecture in the past and then use that knowledge to create your own designs. The reason is that the people providing the training and education don't know how to get results themselves. And they may, a lot of them may come from the broker industry or often they're professional marketers who needed some kind of a product. So they create one, even though they don't actually know how to get the results themselves. They don't have that kind of knowledge and skill in trading. Now listen very carefully in this next section, because I'm going to reveal something that's really critical for any trader who really wants to start getting good results in your trading. And this comes from a lot of background and experience and talking to a lot of people trading right together with many people day after day after day and getting feedback from them. So if you were to, for instance, go to your computer and open up your charts and pull up one currency pair and go to the time frame where you would normally trade and then proceed with getting into trades according to some strategy or criteria that you had to tell you to enter a trade. What would be happening right there would be just as ineffective as saying that you had this house building strategy of hitting nails with a hammer 
that just doesn't work. I've tried hitting nails with hammers and I don't have this nice looking custom home that I set out to have. That would be just as ineffective as doing that. So that's what I'm trying to explain is that having a trading strategy almost is counterproductive to trading with success. And you don't get good consistent profit and increase in capital by having a one or two step trading strategy. Much better to have your strategy be learn to read the market and then enter trades accordingly when you can look at the market and see that it's turning. If you are not even aware that the market is going through all kinds of known cycles, patterns, behavior that can be read on the longer time frame, you're not even aware that that's happening, how could you possibly trade and get good results? I used to hear people say all the time, and sometimes still do, people will say, trading strategies stop working after two or three months, and then you have to get a new strategy. After I learned how to read the market, what I realized is that what that really means is the people who are saying that is that having the ability to read financial markets isn't part of their strategy. If you could read financial markets, you wouldn't need to change your strategy. You would be able to adjust it, go to the right time frame, and do the same thing that would be appropriate for the cycle and the conditions that are now going on. Once you see how the market forms impulsive movements followed by corrective movements, and you also see and understand the concept of how waves of trends and corrections subdivide on shorter time frames, as soon as you get that, as soon as that clicks in your mind, the market will become an endless roadmap guiding you and showing you exactly what to do. The strategy that works is always this. Learn to read the market and determine when the market is turning and on what time frame should you enter and exit according to what's happening because that is always shifting. And how would you know? You'd have to look and see that. Now, for instance, if you were using a strategy with moving averages, you may discover that you may have to go for a long period of time before there is a, an entry according to the criteria that you would normally use when the market is in a trending cycle. You see here that over the last several months, these moving averages have stayed below the longer term, but they're not really going down. This is because it's a pattern and it's tuned to a certain time frame. Therefore, if there are any trends in here, it will be on shorter time frames and you have to adapt your strategy for this cycle. If you had a strategy of following the longer term trend, it would not be working for the past several months and you would have to wait months before there would be a trade that would work out. Most traders are not really willing to wait months to enter a trade. It's not really practical. So what would work better? What would work better is to actually learn to read the market and to enter and exit accordingly based on you being able to see if the market is turning or not turning and on what time frame. If you're stuck on one time frame, you're going to be very limited and you need to shift all the time to the time frames where the market is forming trends and patterns that are recognizable. And how would you do that? I'll tell you this much. If you could develop the skill of doing that, then you would just be repeating that same process. You would still need to use your skill, but once you learn it, you would just keep repeating it. It wouldn't be the same as just opening up your charts and going to one certain time frame and entering when an indicator crosses, but a little bit more than that, actually reading the market and reading it on all time frames. And once you learn to do that, you could just keep doing that and repeating it. So to sum up what you now know and understand from watching this video, the path to success in trading is not by each person making up their own trading strategy. And the path to success in trading is not really about even finding a one or two step trading strategy and doing that. And that is exactly how we have been able to get 
the maximum amount of profit many times in our trading community in our live sessions that we do every day. Let me know if you understand this concept and if that's starting to click for you. And if you would like to join us in our live trading sessions, just go to www.tradingmastermind.com. You can sign up for our free professional traders course. And if this subject that we're talking about intrigues you, I have made a whole series of other videos that go into greater detail about how you can identify the turning points in the market and you can watch that right over here.